Hello, dear friends. It's Wednesday, October 23rd, 2019. My goodness, the days go by. Seems like just yesterday I was making last week's video post and here we are again. But thank you for viewing this uh, and thank you for your prayer for me and for all of the Anglican Network in Canada. Uh, thank you for praying, for instance, last Sunday, October 20th, for Joel Strecker and Dave Norris, both who were ordained to the diaconate. Uh, and this coming Sunday, October 27th, I'd like to ask you to pray for Alan Mills, who is to be also ordained to the diaconate at Lloyd Minster, Saskatchewan. If you know your Lloyd Minster, you know it's on the border between Saskatchewan and Alberta. But I believe the uh, St. Saviour's actually is in the Saskatchewan part. Uh, and it is there that Bishop Trevor Walters will be ordaining Alan Mills, Lord willing. So do pray for him uh, and for Bishop Trevor and for the folks of St. Saviour's. <clears throat> well, um, I um, also last week uh, mentioned the release of an important report called the Harvest Task Force Report. Uh, which every congregation should have received. Uh, I also wanted to tell you that uh, on Saturday past, uh, we sent out the uh, Anglican Relief and Development Fund Canada uh, newsletter for the fall or the Thanksgiving uh, newsletter. And in it, we particularly featured the fact that we are uh, the, praying that by the end of this calendar year, 2019, uh, we can uh, uh, raise uh, $55,000 more to complete our commitment to the GISA project in Cairo. Well, do uh, get a hold of it. It's, it's on our website uh, and uh, have a look at that newsletter. And uh, I would really appreciate it if you would pray whether you were able to give a special gift so that we can retire that uh, amount of $55,000 and meet that commitment. Um, last week, uh, we looked at Psalm 127, 1 and 2 <clears throat> and concluded as a result of that, that what we want to do is discern what the Lord is doing so that we can participate in what he's about, because unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. Well, you probably know if you've watched any of these videos that every time I conclude by saying, dear friends, search the scriptures daily and every opportunity you have open your mouth and speak about Jesus. The question is, is that something that God's about? Is that something that he would want us to do and therefore we can have confidence? And the answer I believe is very clear in the scriptures that that's exactly what we're about and that we can count on him to help us. When Moses was called by God in the burning bush to lead the people of Israel out of Egypt to the promised land, he complained to God that he was not a good candidate for this because he wasn't good at speaking. And God responded in Exodus 4, 11 and 12 with these words, who has made man's mouth? Or who makes him dumb or deaf or seeing or blind? Is it not I the Lord? Now then go and I even I will your, be your mouth and teach you what you are to say. Exodus 4, 11 and 12. Well, if you feel ill-equipped to be a good witness to Jesus and to open your mouth, then look to the Lord because he said he will be our with our mouths and teach us what we are to say because he's the one who, who, get, who has given us the ability in the first place. Dear friends, let me conclude then by saying, search the scriptures daily and every opportunity you have, open your mouth and speak about Jesus because Jesus will help you do it. God bless.